Right, so I just had an interesting case come up today in the office and I figured I would share it with you guys. So this patient came in for laser hair removal on the underarms and the Brazilian area and we were talking and I noticed that she had a lesion or a bump, kind of like an open sore on her um, private area and I asked her about it. Turns out this was her second one and this was happening around her cycle. And so usually when someone comes in and they're having issues with ingrowns and they get sores, boils, things like that in the vaginal area, I usually have to worry about potentially um, hydroadenitis operativa or some sort of um, acne due to insulin resistance. And so I did a little bit of um, looking around and I noticed that she also had darkness in her underarms and her neck area so she has acanthosis nightwickens so overall we kind of came up with the idea um with the conclusion that she has some insulin resistance that's causing these skin changes um and also it's possible that she could be having a high a stage one hydroadenitis superativa where it's cyclical for her right she's developing cysts um, and boils around her cycle and then they go away and you know we're doing laser hair removal in the area to get rid of the hair which will help but it's always important for people to kind of pay attention to these things so I thought it was an interesting case um, I did talk to her about her diet because um, in situations like that with insulin resistance or with hydroadenitis operativa the main issue is um, inflammation and so you want to try to improve or mitigate your um, inflammatory markers by eating healthy avoiding processed foods things like that uh, making sure that your stress levels are down so sleeping enough <laughs> i mean we're in america so we're all stressed but working on decreasing your stress levels and then also exercise but she's extremely um, fit and works out a lot so we're just gonna work with her tackle her diet and manage her stress as a an adjunct or an addition to doing laser hair removal to decrease her chances of getting these outbreaks. So yeah, I just like to give you guys a peek into some of the things that I see on a daily basis while in the office. And let me know if you like this and I could do more videos sharing um, kind of like pearls of the day. Bye.